that's kind of the, the songs that I write. Everyone relates to it. And everyone has their own little story of that. Probably one of the one of the best stories I ever heard was this girl was telling me about how she was introduced to this song or, or my music actually, um, and her boyfriend said to her one day, "Have you heard of Pete Murray?" She said, "No." And he said, oh, "Okay, here's the album. I want you to listen to, listen to track three, which was so beautiful. And this is what I think of you." And so she went away and played So Beautiful because So Beautiful is not, it's a love song but it's not about, you know, how much I love you, it's kind of about pretentious people. So, you know, she basically, this is how he broke up with her, just gave her the CD and then made her listen to it and she called him back and, and he said, yeah, that's it, you know, it's off, <laughs> I don't want to see you again. Sometimes I just pick up the guitar and I just have a play and I, I've got a little, um, little recorder that I just take with me and uh, I just, if I come up with something that I think is nice, I'll just quickly record and then I'll kind of sing along and, and um, you know, have a melody and if lyrics come out then I'll capture it at that, that moment. Probably the best song for this, where I've uh, caught something really quickly, was Always a Winner. When I had that, I, because Tom Rothrock, the producer of the album, sent me this drum beat to see if I could write a song to it. I was being quite lazy to, to do this and uh, you know, it was about a week a week or two before I went over to record the album, Tom said, have you, you know, tried to write that, anything to that drum bit I've given you? I said, I haven't yet, but I'll do it tonight. So I went down, downstairs at my place and um, played this drum beat and got the music for it. And then I thought, okay, let's just record this. And I recorded it and I just started to, to sing and just get a bit of a melody going. I stopped it and went, it's not too bad. So I went back and listened to it and I just got the pen and paper out and I just was writing down all the lyrics that were coming out. And I got to the end of the song and it was like 85% of the lyrics were all there. So I went, okay, hang on, I'm, I think I've just about written the song. 